All right, I have open here Entourage. Entourage is what they used to call the mail program that comes with Microsoft Office. Now it's called Outlook, the same as it is with Windows. I think the principle is basically the same between Entourage and Outlook. Slight differences. I've opened it up. Here's my list of emails. I emailed to myself some pictures from Japan. You can see here in the uh, email open, there's a list of pictures. And in Entourage, I can scroll through the email and it actually shows the pictures listed there. Um, looks like Outlook handles it a little bit differently. But the principle is the same, that there's a list of uh, pictures that are attached. I think that Outlook has them scroll listed left to right. Here, Entourage has them listed top to bottom. One thing is different, um, click on one over here, Entourage has a save button. I was looking for that in Outlook and it might be there somewhere, but um, I'm thinking they left it out. So here's how we would save it. There's two ways you could do it. One way you could do it is you click on the first picture or first attachment, and then remember you hold down the shift key, click on the last picture, they are all selected. Once they're all selected like this, I'm going to right click on one of them and choose save attachment. That brings up the save window and remember this magic button. If it's like this, you're going to want to hit this button so it expands it so you can have all the options. It might def by default be someplace else, but you want to save to the desktop because we're going to make a temporary folder. So when this window comes up, I'm going to choose my desktop and I'm going to make a new folder. The folder name, I'm going to give it photos from Japan. Okay, so I made it. You can see here it's changed. Now it's called on the desktop photos from Japan. Once I have that window open, I'm going to click on save. And again, I'm just hitting the return key on the keyboard. You could also mouse down and do it. Same thing. Keep doing that until it's done. And if you look over here, I'm going to hide Entourage. Over here on my desktop is a folder called Photos from Japan. And there they are. One, two, three, four. Alrighty. So that's one way to do it. And I'll show you the other way to do it, which you might prefer. I'm going to delete this folder, start from scratch. Opening up Entourage again. The other way to do it is what they call drag and drop. In order to drag and drop, I have to make sure there's room over on the side where I can see my desktop. You see I've got room. I believe your Outlook was filling the whole screen like this. And so there's no, there's no desktop. All I can see is Outlook. There's a little bit of desktop right here. But you, what you want to do is grab this little mark right here. I call it a thumb notch. Click on it and drag it over to the left. It's just enough so you can see a little desktop. And once you can see something, click over here and you right click, make a new folder. And right away it's highlighted, so I'm not going to touch anything. As soon as I right click, I'm going to just start typing photos from Japan. Let me review that again for making a new folder. It can be a little confusing. I right click on the desktop, make a new folder. Now if I make a mistake and click away, it's going to be called untitled folder. I don't really want that. And then I have to like click on, hit return, and blah, 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 blah. You don't want that. So I'm going to delete that. Again, I'm going to right click on the desktop, choose new folder. Right away, you can see it's highlighted. It's, and when it's highlighted, that means just go ahead and type photos from Japan. All right. So I got the folder there. Now, depending upon how good I am at target practice, I can either drag the icon right on top of the folder, or if I'm not so good at uh, mousing, let's go and open that folder and just put it right here where it's nice and big, nice big target for myself. You see, this is the folder right here. I can even move it over here so I can see. I know. Okay, photos from Japan. It's hidden behind the Entourage or Outlook. Once again, I click on one picture. Shift click on the last one to select them all. And on this version, I can click anywhere on the blue. It might not work that way. You might have to click the little icon. Hopefully, you can click anywhere on the blue. And you see they all move away. See, they're all moving. As soon as my arrow is over the folder... Oh, the folder moves in place. That was nice. I didn't know that. I let go and they 
copyrighted. It says four items. Unfortunately, it didn't fit, but they're all there. Now, if I didn't open the folder, you know, get rid of those. If I feel pretty comfortable with my target practice, so to speak, I click on one picture, shift click on the last one. They're all selected. As soon as I drag the arrow over the over the folder, see how it kind of opens up? There's a little open up. If I hold it long enough, it pops open. I'll move away again and let go. I can hold it over. Oh, I forgot about that. If you hold it long enough, it pops open and drop it right in. And there they are. Okay, so I've got the folder photos from Japan on my desktop. Now I'm going to either quit or hide Entourage or, or Outlook. I've got this folder. Again, I named it the name of the group of the pictures that were sent to me. I dragged this folder on top of Aperture. <laughs> I've already done this once, so it's going to open up and make a new project, but it's going to make a project that was quick. Photos from Japan. Oh, it looks like uh, this time I didn't capitalize it. I've, I've been practicing this. But you can see I've got the pictures here. The project name is the same as the folder name. There are the pictures. They are by default imported into the Aperture library. They're not referenced, so that makes it very easy. So they're in here. I'm going to quit or hide Aperture. Now this temporary folder can go in the trash. I can either drag it, or I think you like to right, right click, move to trash, and it's all nice and neat. Everything's organized. All right, I hope this makes sense.